Hey everyone, Ryan here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to check keyword ranking in SEMrush. Essentially, I'm going to be diving into the powerful SEMrush position tracking tool. So if you have a set of keywords that you want to monitor and track, then this tool is certainly capable of helping you achieve that goal. To give you a clear demonstration of what it's all about, I'm going to add a few keywords to the tool, and this will showcase the key features and benefits that the SEMrush position tracking tool can offer. And real quick before we get started, I have to mention that the free version of SEMrush is a great way to explore the platform, but to access the most powerful features, you will need a paid subscription. So if you're interested in trying out SEMrush and see all the powerful features that it has to offer, then be sure to sign up for the free trial using the link below. And now we can navigate to SEMrush.com. And then onto the left sidebar, you will see the position tracking section. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then from here, you will be prompted to enter a project name or domain. Keep in mind that if you're onto the free plan, you will only be allowed one domain. And if you wanted to add more projects or domains, then you will have to upgrade your subscription plan. So enter your domain, select the keywords when prompted, and let's wait for the analysis to be complete. And now we land onto the dashboard of the position tracking tool. So let's start by taking a look at the main dashboard. As you scroll through, you will notice that it provides an overview of where your keywords stand in terms of the top three, top 10, top 20, and the top 100 rankings. The ranking distribution is conveniently color coded, making it very easy to understand at just a glance. And then if you hover over each section, you will see more details about your top keywords. Additionally, you have the option to add tags to organize your keywords and even compare your performance against competitors. And we're going to explore that more later on. Now let's click on the overview tab so that we can get a more comprehensive look at our keyword performance. Keep in mind that since I just added these keywords, the data might be limited on the first day. However, as time goes on, you will see even more detailed information. And here you can view your specific keywords such as this one along with the intent behind each keyword. The tool does a fantastic job of determining the intent, whether it's transactional, navigational, or like our keyword here for this case, it's commercial. The overview section also displays your current ranking positions for each keyword, along with any changes that occur over time. You will also see the estimated traffic data, giving you an idea of the potential traffic that you could receive based on your rankings. Another useful aspect of the position tracking tool is the SERP feature section. The section highlights the various features that appear on the search engine results page for your target keywords. And these features could include any reviews, site links, and videos. People also ask kind of boxes, indented results, and the AdWords ads at the top of the SERP. It is crucial to pay attention to these features as they can significantly impact your ability to rank for certain keywords. For example, if you are targeting a keyword and you notice that eight out of the top 10 results are videos, and you are trying to rank with a traditional article then you might find yourself at the bottom of the page. And that's even if you rank well. Similarly, if you are in the e-commerce space and you see numerous ads and product images dominating the SERP, then it is something to keep in mind when evaluating the competitiveness of a keyword. Understanding the SERP landscape can help you make informed decisions about where to focus your efforts. Going back to the ranking distribution section, it provides a visual representation of how your keywords are distributed across the top 3, 10, 20, and the 100 positions. This information is similar to what we saw earlier, just presented in a different format. So if you want to organize your keywords further, then you can utilize the tags feature. This is a handy option to have. Another feature worth mentioning is the keyword cannibalization tool, which is available in the Guru plan and above. The keyword cannibalization occurs when you have multiple pages on your site targeting the same keyword, potentially competing against each other, hence the name cannibalization. And this tool helps you identify instances of keyword cannibalization, allowing you to optimize your site's structure and content accordingly. Moving on to the competitor analysis section, SEMrush provides a competitor discovery feature based on your tracked keywords. The more keywords that you have in the tool, the more comprehensive the competitor analysis will be. In my example, since I'm using a basketball related keywords, the tool has identified relevant competitors in that space. And this information can be valuable in understanding your competitive landscape and identifying potential opportunities. The position tracking tool also offers insights into the devices and locations where your keywords are ranking. This information can help you optimize your site for different devices and target specific geographic locations if needed. And it also highlights any featured snippets that you've earned for your tracked keywords. Featured snippets are a great way to gain visibility and drive traffic to your site, so it's very exciting to see when you've captured one. 
So as you can see, the SEMrush Position Tracking tool is a comprehensive and valuable addition to the platform's suite of features. And personally, I believe that the keyword research and backlink analysis capabilities of SEMrush are the strongest kind of features here. But this position tracking tool is a nice bonus. So again, if you're interested in trying out SEMrush for yourself, I've included a free trial link in the description below. Feel free to check it out and let us know what you think of SEMrush in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to us so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.